In the quiet, picturesque suburb of Winter Park, Central Florida, a shattering event unfolded on July 7, 2012, shaking the prosperous community to its core. The lives of two couples, Kyle and Lisa Thompson, and Mike and Sarah Roberts, became entangled in ways none could have predicted, culminating in a web of obsession, deceit, and ultimately, deadly consequences. Kyle Thompson, a locally renowned artist of 36 years, was known throughout Winter Park for his amiable personality and creative talent. He was married to Lisa, a 34-year-old art instructor at a nearby college, who was equally admired for her dedication to her students and her passion for art. Mike Roberts, a prosperous investment consultant of 37 years, and his wife Sarah, a 33-year-old high school teacher beloved by her students, were among the Thompsons' closest friends. Yet, hidden beneath their seemingly ordinary friendship, these couples shared a secret lifestyle. They were swingers, engaging in a consensual arrangement that involved exchanging sexual partners. At first, this unconventional lifestyle brought a sense of exhilaration and intrigue to their otherwise routine suburban lives. It began as a curious exploration, a way to spice up their marriages and break free from the monotony of everyday life. However, as time passed, the complexities of their arrangement started to unravel, giving rise to a dangerous mix of jealousy, obsession, and resentment. Kyle's initial fascination with Sarah evolved into an overwhelming fixation, causing tension in his relationship with Lisa. He became increasingly preoccupied with Sarah, his thoughts consumed by her and his actions driven by his desire to be with her. Alarmed by the intensity of Kyle's growing obsession, Sarah decided to put an end to the swinging arrangement. She had initially found the experience exciting, but the emotional entanglements and Kyle's increasingly erratic behavior became too much for her to handle. Her decision to stop, however, did not deter Kyle. Instead, it set off a chain of tragic events that would ultimately lead to a devastating outcome. The Thompsons had been college sweethearts and were happily married for a decade. To their friends and family, they appeared to be the quintessential perfect couple, happy, deeply in love, and living a charmed life. Their home on Palm Street was a charming reflection of their lives together. It featured a spacious studio where Kyle created his art, surrounded by a meticulously maintained garden that Lisa took great pride in. The Roberts, who had moved to Winter Park two years after the Thompsons, quickly became an integral part of the neighborhood. Mike, with his outgoing nature, and Sarah, with her ever-ready smile and captivating charm, brought a vibrant energy to the community. The two couples first met at a community Fourth of July picnic in 2009 and instantly hit it off. Over time, their friendship deepened, and they began to enjoy various outings together. They attended movies, theater performances, and shared dinners both at local restaurants and in each other's homes. One fateful evening in late 2009, during a dinner gathering at the Thompson House, the conversation took an unexpected turn. After enjoying a few rounds of drinks, the topic of swinging came up, sparking a lively and open-minded discussion. The couples found themselves intrigued by the idea, and by the end of the night, they had reached a mutual agreement to explore this new lifestyle together. That very night, the couples decided to swap partners for the first time. Kyle and Sarah spent the night together at the Thompson house, while Mike and Lisa went back to the Roberts' home. Initially, the experience brought a fresh sense of excitement and rejuvenation to both marriages. The new arrangement became an occasional part of their weekends, with Kyle and Lisa and Mike and Sarah eagerly exploring their sexualities with their new partners. They found the experience thrilling and liberating, a way to add novelty and adventure to their otherwise stable and predictable lives. However, as time passed, subtle shifts in the dynamics between the four began to emerge, particularly in Kyle's behavior. His growing fixation with Sarah, initially unnoticed by the others, 
quickly escalated into a troubling and all-consuming obsession. Kyle's thoughts and actions became increasingly dominated by his desire for Sarah, leading to a series of events that would ultimately shatter the lives of all involved. The once harmonious friendship between the two couples began to unravel, replaced by a dark web of deceit, jealousy, and ultimately tragedy. The peaceful facade of Winter Park was forever altered by the events that unfolded on that fateful day in July 2012. The intertwined lives of the Thompsons and the Roberts, once a symbol of friendship and shared experiences, became a cautionary tale of the dangers that can lurk beneath the surface of even the most seemingly perfect relationships. The community was left to grapple with the aftermath, a stark reminder of the destructive power of obsession and the fragility of human connections. Over time, Lisa Thompson began to harbor concerns about her husband Kyle's burgeoning interest in Sarah Roberts. She voiced these worries to Kyle, but he casually dismissed them as mere jealousy, assuring her that nothing was amiss. However, as days turned into weeks, Kyle's preoccupation with Sarah became increasingly conspicuous, and Lisa found it impossible to ignore. He started to disregard his artistic pursuits, spending less and less time in his studio. Instead, he sought out opportunities to be closer to Sarah, his fascination with her growing more evident with each passing day. Lisa, now acutely aware that something was awry in their marriage, began to monitor Kyle's behavior more closely. She noticed subtle changes in his demeanor little signs that pointed to an escalating fixation on Sarah. During social gatherings, Lisa caught Kyle stealing prolonged glances at Sarah, his eyes lingering a little too long. Initially, Sarah was flattered by the attention, viewing it as harmless admiration. She was oblivious to the depth of Kyle's obsession, but as time wore on, she began to feel uncomfortable with his increasingly possessive behavior. Sarah confided in her husband, Mike, about her growing unease. She recounted Kyle's lingering gazes and his subtle yet persistent attempts to monopolize her time. However, Mike dismissed her concerns, attributing Kyle's behavior to innocent displays of interest and affection. He assured Sarah that she was overthinking the situation and that Kyle meant no harm. Yet, despite Mike's reassurances, Sarah's discomfort persisted gnawing at her and casting a shadow over their once carefree swinging arrangement. Her suspicions reached a boiling point during a weekend retreat the two couples took together to a luxurious resort in the Florida Keys in March 2012. What was meant to be a relaxing getaway turned into a tense and unsettling experience for Sarah. Kyle's obsession became more pronounced, his actions more brazen. He isolated Sarah openly preferring her company to that of his wife and Mike. He engineered situations that would allow him to be alone with her, his intentions growing increasingly transparent. One evening, as the group sat around a beach fire, Kyle made a startling remark that sent shockwaves through Sarah. Casually, as if discussing the weather, he expressed his desire to abandon everything, his marriage, his career, his life, to start anew with Sarah. His words hung heavy in the air, causing Sarah to shift uncomfortably in her seat. Lisa, overhearing the conversation from a distance, felt a pang of jealousy and betrayal. She confronted Kyle later that night, but he brushed off his remarks as mere fantasies, insisting that he hadn't meant them seriously. His nonchalance only served to frustrate Lisa further, deepening the growing chasm between them. As Kyle's behavior grew more erratic and unpredictable, he began to seek Sarah out beyond the agreed-upon boundaries of their swinging arrangement. He would contrive reasons to visit her at work, his appearances becoming more frequent, and his advances more unwelcome. Sarah, once comfortable in her role as a high school teacher, now found herself looking over her shoulder, dreading the next time Kyle would appear unannounced. In a desperate attempt to regain control of the situation, Sarah decided to end the couple's wife-swapping arrangement. She hoped that by doing so, she could salvage her marriage with Mike and preserve what was left of their friendship with the Thompsons. However, 
Her decision would set in motion a chain of events that would ultimately spiral out of control. One tense afternoon, while Mike was away on business, Kyle took the opportunity to express his feelings to Sarah. He painted a picture of a future together, one in which they could be happy and free from the constraints of their current lives. Sarah, however, was horrified by his advances. She firmly rejected him, insisting that she wanted out of their arrangement and that she had no desire to pursue a romantic relationship with him. Despite Kyle's pleas and his attempts to persuade her otherwise, Sarah stood her ground, resolute in her decision. In the aftermath of their confrontation, Sarah made a conscious effort to avoid Kyle. She hoped that by distancing herself from him, he would eventually come to his senses and realize the inappropriateness of his actions. Meanwhile, Lisa, increasingly disturbed by her husband's feelings for Sarah, attempted to reason with him. She begged him to step back from his obsessive behavior, to respect Sarah's wishes, and to focus on repairing their own marriage. But her pleas fell on deaf ears. Kyle's obsession with Sarah had taken root too deeply, and he was unwilling, or perhaps unable, to let go. His appearances at Sarah's school became more frequent, his advances more insistent. He would wait for her after classes, approaching her under the guise of casual conversation, but always steering the topic back to their supposed future together. Sarah grew fearful, her once peaceful life now marred by Kyle's relentless pursuit. One fateful afternoon, as Sarah walked home from work through their usually quiet neighborhood, Kyle confronted her. He stepped into her path, his eyes wild and desperate. Sarah, stealing herself, reiterated her determination to end their arrangement. She repeated her concerns about the inappropriateness of his obsessive behavior, her voice steady and firm despite the fear coursing through her veins. However, her resolve only served to fuel Kyle's desperation. His pleas turned to accusations, his desperation to anger. He lashed out at her, his words cutting like knives, accusing her of betrayal and deceit. The once harmonious relationship between the two couples was now irrevocably damaged, shattered by Kyle's all-consuming obsession. The peaceful facade of their suburban lives had been torn away, revealing a dark and twisted web of deceit, jealousy, and ultimately, tragedy. The events that would unfold in the coming days would forever alter the course of their lives, leaving them all to grapple with the devastating consequences of their actions. The quiet, picturesque suburb of Winter Park would never be the same again, its serenity forever marred by the shadows of obsession and the echoes of shattered dreams. As Lisa Thompson tended to her garden outside, the sound of raised voices caught her attention. She paused listening intently, and realized that the commotion was coming from nearby. A sense of unease washed over her as she recognized the voices of her husband, Kyle, and their friend, Sarah Roberts. The tension in their exchange was palpable, and Lisa felt a surge of panic. She knew she had to intervene before the situation spiraled out of control. Dropping her gardening tools, Lisa hurried towards the source of the argument. As she approached, she could see Kyle and Sarah standing close together, their bodies rigid with tension. Kyle's face was contorted with anger, while Sarah's expression was a mix of fear and defiance. Lisa's heart pounded in her chest as she took in the scene. With a sharp, piercing voice that cut through the air, Lisa called out to Kyle. Kyle, what's going on here? Her sudden presence seemed to jolt Kyle out of his angry state. He turned to look at Lisa, his eyes wide with surprise and confusion. Sarah, seizing the opportunity, quickly stepped away from Kyle, her body trembling with relief. Lisa moved to stand between Kyle and Sarah, her gaze fixed firmly on her husband. Kyle, you need to calm down, she said, her voice steady despite the turmoil she felt inside. Whatever is going on, we can sort it out together. Sarah, grateful for Lisa's intervention, took another step back. I, I need to go, she stammered, her voice barely above a whisper. Lisa nodded, 
her eyes never leaving Kyle's face. Yes, Sarah, you should go. We'll handle this. As Sarah hurried away, Lisa turned her full attention to Kyle. She could see the storm of emotions raging within him, anger, betrayal, desperation. Inwardly, she was deeply disturbed, her own feelings of jealousy and rage against Sarah welling up inside her. She knew that their lives had been irreversibly altered, and her loyalty to Kyle compelled her to place the blame squarely on Sarah's shoulders. The couple's wife-swapping relationship, once a source of excitement and novelty, had reached an irreversible breaking point due to Kyle's obsession with Sarah. Lisa began to view Sarah's decision to terminate the arrangement as the precipitating cause of the ensuing chain of events that could not be undone. She believed that if Sarah had not ended the arrangement, Kyle's obsession would not have escalated to this point. Kyle, his breath coming in ragged gasps, looked at Lisa with a mixture of pain and confusion. Lisa, I... I don't know what to do, he confessed, his voice trembling with emotion. Lisa reached out, placing a comforting hand on his arm. We'll figure it out together, Kyle, she reassured him, even as her own mind raced with thoughts of anger and betrayal. As the dust settled from the altercation, Kyle was left in a state of utter confusion and turmoil. Sarah's resolute rejection and Lisa's unexpected intervention had shaken him to his core. That night, as he returned home, his mind was consumed by a tumult of anger, betrayal, and desperation. He couldn't shake the feeling that everything was spiraling out of control, and he was powerless to stop it. Lisa, sensing the storm brewing within her husband, attempted to pacify his troubled thoughts. She sat with him, talking softly and offering words of comfort. But despite her best efforts, Kyle remained inconsolable. In the days that followed, he swung between anger and depression, his thoughts fixated on Sarah's rejection and what he perceived as her betrayal. Lisa, unable to reach him, grappled with mounting frustration and fear. She tried to maintain a sense of normalcy in their relationship, but the anger she felt towards Sarah continued to grow. She found herself torn between her loyalty to Kyle and her own feelings of jealousy and resentment. Meanwhile, Sarah was determined to move forward with her life. She avoided Kyle altogether, focusing on her work and her relationship with Mike. She refrained from disclosing the full extent of Kyle's obsession to Mike, fearful of the potential fallout if he were to find out. Sarah hoped that by distancing herself from Kyle, she could put an end to the turmoil and find a peaceful resolution. However, her hopes were shattered a few days later when Kyle awaited her outside her house as she left for work. Sarah, startled by his presence, braced herself for another confrontation. Kyle's pleas were louder and more emotional this time, his desperation palpable. But Sarah remained firm, maintaining her boundaries and refusing to engage with his advances. Kyle's attempt to detain Sarah eventually drew the attention of a neighbor who intervened, threatening to call the police if Kyle did not leave. Shaken by the incident, Kyle retreated, his mind a whirlwind of confusion and despair. Sarah, seeking help and guidance, turned to Lisa. She hoped that Lisa, as Kyle's wife and her friend, could provide some insight or assistance. But Lisa, now driven by jealousy and resentment towards her newly perceived rival, rebuffed all of Sarah's attempts at cooperation. She saw Sarah as the cause of her marital strife and the turmoil in their lives. By the evening of July 7, 2012, Kyle Thompson was a man on the edge. His anxiety about the situation had grown to an unbearable level. He began to drink heavily, his thoughts turning dark and ominous. In his drunken stupor, he became convinced that suicide was the only solution to his inner turmoil. Emotionally distraught, he stumbled into his and Lisa's bedroom, his mind a chaotic mess of despair and desperation. Lisa, finding him in this state, was both alarmed and determined. She saw an opportunity to redirect Kyle's anguish and channel it into a sinister plan. She convinced him that Sarah was the root of their problems, the cause of their suffering. Together, 
they formulated a plan to rid themselves of Sarah, setting the stage for a dark alliance born out of necessity and dread. That very night, with Mike Roberts away on a business trip, Kyle broke into the Roberts' house. His heart pounded in his chest as he made his way through the darkened rooms, his mind focused on the grim task at hand. He found Sarah in her bedroom, sleeping peacefully, unaware of the danger that lurked in the shadows. With a heavy heart and a trembling hand, Kyle confronted Sarah in her sleep. In a brutal and irrevocable act, he stabbed her to death, the violence of his actions shocking even himself. Horrified by the brutality of his crime, Kyle fled the scene, his mind a whirlwind of panic and disbelief. He returned home in a distressed state, his clothes stained with blood and his eyes wide with shock. Lisa, hearing him enter, rushed to his side. She took one look at him and knew that the deed was done. Swiftly, she took control of the situation, her mind racing with the urgency of their predicament. She guided Kyle to their bathroom, instructing him to remove his bloodied clothes and cleanse himself of the evidence. Her thoughts were consumed by the need to act quickly, to cover up the crime and safeguard their hidden lives. She knew that they were standing on the precipice of disaster, and one wrong move could send their world crashing down around them. As Lisa scrubbed the blood from Kyle's hands, she couldn't help but feel a sense of grim determination. She was resolved to protect her husband, to shield him from the consequences of his actions. Together, they would navigate the dark and treacherous path that lay ahead, their lives forever altered by the choices they had made. The once peaceful suburb of Winter Park was forever changed by the events that unfolded on that fateful night. The intertwined lives of the Thompsons and the Roberts had taken a dark and twisted turn, leaving the community to grapple with the devastating consequences of their actions. The echoes of that night would reverberate through their lives, a haunting reminder of the price they paid for their secrets and obsessions. As Kyle stood under the scalding spray of the shower, watching the water run red at his feet, Lisa sprang into action. She gathered his blood-soaked clothes, stuffing them into a garbage bag, her heart pounding with a mix of fear and determination. Every fiber of her being was focused on protecting her husband and concealing the horrifying truth of what they had done. Dropping to her knees, she scrutinized the floor, her eyes scanning for any droplets of blood that may have escaped their notice. With meticulous care, she scrubbed the tiles, erasing any trace of the gruesome act that had taken place mere hours ago. She knew that the future of their lives together depended on her ability to remove every vestige of the crime. Once Kyle emerged from the shower, his skin scrubbed raw and his eyes haunted by the night's events, Lisa sat him down at the kitchen table. She needed him to focus, to recount every detail of the incident so that they could begin to formulate a plan. Their survival depended on their ability to create a convincing alibi and to dispose of any evidence that might link them to the murder. Lisa's mind raced as she considered their options. She knew that they needed someone to corroborate their story, someone who would be willing to lie for them. Her thoughts turned to her sister, Ava. Despite the late hour, she picked up the phone and dialed her number, her fingers trembling as she waited for her to answer. Ava, she whispered, her voice barely audible. I need your help. Kyle and I, we've done something terrible. I can't explain now, but I need you to say that Kyle was with you tonight. Please, Ava, I'm begging you. To Lisa's immense relief, Ava agreed without hesitation, her loyalty to her sister unwavering. With their alibi secured, Lisa turned her attention to the physical evidence that could incriminate them. She knew that the bloodied clothes and the murder weapon had to be disposed of in a way that would leave no trace. Under the cover of darkness, she drove to a secluded location outside of town, her heart pounding in her chest with every passing mile. She found a remote spot, far from prying eyes, where she proceeded to burn Kyle's blood-stained clothes, the acrid smell of smoke filling the air. Once the clothes had been reduced to ashes, 
She dug a deep hole in the ground, burying the murder weapon and the charred remains of the clothes. As she filled the hole, she sent a silent prayer to the heavens, hoping that this act would be enough to destroy any remaining evidence of their crime. The murder of Sarah Roberts remained undiscovered until the morning of Monday, July 9, 2012. Mike Roberts returned home from his business trip, eager to be reunited with his wife. As he stepped into their bedroom, he was greeted by a sight that would haunt him for the rest of his days. Sarah lay lifeless on the bed, her body brutally stabbed 26 times, the sheets around her soaked in blood. Horrified, Mike dialed 911, his voice shaking as he relayed the grim discovery to the operator. Within minutes, a police team led by Detective Aaron Jenkins was dispatched to the scene. What they found was a gruesome tableau, a once peaceful home now transformed into a crime scene. A loving wife and mother brutally murdered in her own bed. As the police began to gather evidence, they turned their attention to the neighbors, hoping to find any information that might shed light on the crime. The Thompsons, living just a short distance away, were among the first to be questioned. Lisa, her alibi meticulously crafted, faced the detectives with a composed demeanor, her answers steady and confident. Kyle, on the other hand, was a picture of distress. His eyes were haunted, his body trembling as he recounted his supposed whereabouts on the night of the murder. Despite his visible anguish, the detectives found no reason to doubt his story. The Thompson's alibi, corroborated by Ava, seemed airtight and the police turned their attention to other potential leads. As the days turned into weeks, the psychological burden of the murder weighed heavily on both Kyle and Lisa. Kyle, already emotionally fragile, found himself consumed by paranoia. He became convinced that the police were closing in on him, that they could see through his carefully constructed facade. He withdrew from friends and colleagues, isolating himself in a web of fear and regret. Lisa, though outwardly composed, was not immune to the strain of their secret. She became hypervigilant, scrutinizing every interaction and behavior for signs of suspicion. She watched the news obsessively, her heart leaping into her throat every time Sarah Roberts' name was mentioned. She knew that one wrong move, one slip of the tongue, could bring their carefully crafted world crashing down around them. In the midst of their turmoil, Lisa took on the role of stabilizer, determined to keep their lives from spiraling out of control. She managed Kyle's growing paranoia, soothing his fears and reassuring him that they were safe. She maintained their public facade, attending social gatherings and community meetings with a smile on her face, even as her heart ached with the weight of their secret. Lisa knew that maintaining their cover required more than just an alibi, they needed to construct a narrative that would divert attention away from Kyle. She suggested to Kyle that he should appear more distraught over Sarah's death, aligning with the community's grief and deflecting suspicion. At social gatherings and community meetings, Kyle, now entirely under Lisa's control, played the part of the grieving friend to perfection. He spoke of Sarah with a mix of fondness and sorrow, his eyes often welling up with tears as he recounted memories of their time together. Mike Roberts, devastated by the loss of his wife and desperate for answers, seemed to appreciate Kyle's empathy. He leaned on his friend for support, unaware of the dark truth that lay hidden beneath the surface. Yet, despite Lisa's careful guidance, Kyle's mental state continued to deteriorate. His guilt manifested in nightmares and hallucinations, driving him to seek solace in the bottom of a bottle. Lisa, fearing that Kyle might confess in a drunken stupor, maintained a constant vigil over him. She stayed up late into the night watching him as he drank, ready to intervene if he showed any sign of wavering. She knew that one slip, one moment of weakness, could undo all of their careful planning and send their lives spiraling out of control. One evening, as Kyle slumped over a glass of whiskey, his body racked with sobs, he turned to Lisa with a look of utter despair. 
I can't do this anymore, Lisa, he confessed, his voice barely above a whisper. I can't live with this guilt. I need to come clean. Panic surged through Lisa's veins as she grasped the implications of Kyle's words. She knew that she had to act quickly to find a way to keep him from confessing. Desperate to maintain their composure, she suggested they take a short trip out of town, seeking refuge in a secluded cabin nestled deep in the mountains of North Georgia. The change of scenery was intended to help Kyle find some semblance of peace, to give him a chance to escape the constant reminders of their crime. The isolation offered them a temporary reprieve, allowing them to strategize their next moves without the constant pressure of the investigation looming over them. During their time at the cabin, Lisa continued to coach her husband, emphasizing the importance of secrecy and instructing him on how to handle police questioning and public interactions. She drilled him relentlessly, her voice firm and unyielding as she guided him through their carefully crafted narrative. She knew that their future depended on his ability to maintain their story, to keep their secret hidden from the world. Lisa's unwavering determination to protect her husband and avoid imprisonment fueled her every action. She meticulously crafted a web of deceit, ensuring that every detail of their story aligned perfectly. Kyle, though still fragile, began to find solace in the routines Lisa established, clinging to her guidance as a lifeline. Together, they navigated the treacherous waters of their shared secret, their bond strengthened by the desperate need to keep their crime hidden from the world. The once peaceful suburb of Winter Park remained blissfully unaware of the dark truth lurking beneath the surface, as the Thompsons fought to keep their grim reality concealed behind a facade of normalcy. As the weeks turned into months, the investigation into Sarah Roberts' murder began to lose momentum. The police, despite their best efforts, were no closer to finding her killer. The community, once united in grief and outrage, began to move on, their attention turning to other matters. But for Kyle and Lisa Thompson, there was no escape from the past. Their lives were forever altered by the choices they had made, the secrets they kept, and the lies they told. They lived in a constant state of tension, their every move calculated to maintain the facade of innocence they had so carefully constructed. And so, they continued to live their lives, haunted by the ghosts of their past, bound together by the dark secret that threatened to consume them both. The echoes of that fateful night would forever reverberate through their lives, a haunting reminder of the price they paid for their sins. Upon their return to Winter Park two weeks later, the Thompsons attempted to resume their lives, driven by a renewed sense of purpose, yet still haunted by Kyle's actions. He managed to present a more composed exterior, while Lisa meticulously orchestrated their interactions with friends and colleagues, ensuring they remained above suspicion. However, cracks began to appear in their carefully crafted facade. Neighbors and friends started to notice Kyle's increased drinking, trembling hands, and erratic behavior. Whispers of his possible involvement in Sarah's death began to circulate, casting shadows of doubt over the Thompsons' seemingly innocent demeanor. Upon hearing these rumors, Lisa, ever vigilant, worked tirelessly to suppress them. However, as the police investigation persisted under the keen eye of Detective Aaron Jenkins, new evidence emerged, threatening to shatter the Thompsons' carefully constructed alibi and plunge their world into chaos. Detective Jenkins conducted separate follow-up interviews with Lisa and Kyle, diligently noting any discrepancies in their stories. Lisa's meticulously crafted alibi held up under scrutiny, and despite his occasional erratic behavior, Kyle's emotional state appeared genuine, aligning with that of a grieving friend. Yet Jenkins's intuition gnawed at him, suggesting there was more to uncover. As the weeks passed, additional evidence surfaced, including forensic analysis of Sarah's phone records. These records revealed a series of desperate text messages from Kyle, highlighting his unhealthy obsession with her. 
Armed with this discovery, Jenkins brought Kyle in for further questioning, pressing him on the inconsistencies in his alibi and the true nature of his relationship with Sarah. Despite Kyle's struggle to maintain his composure and adhere to the story Lisa had coached him on, his nervousness and evasive answers only served to heighten the detective's suspicions. The turning point in the investigation came when a crucial witness stepped forward. Robert Hensley, a 79-year-old neighbor of the Roberts who lived across the street, provided vital information. He had witnessed Kyle's confrontation with Sarah outside her house and had threatened to call the police. Additionally, he had seen Kyle near the Roberts' residence on the night of the murder. This testimony, combined with the forensic evidence and Kyle's erratic behavior, was sufficient for the police to obtain a search warrant for the Thompsons' home. During the search, traces of Sarah's blood were discovered, having seeped into the floorboards despite Lisa's thorough cleaning efforts. This damning evidence, coupled with witness testimonies and phone records, painted a clear picture of Kyle's guilt. The net was tightening around the Thompsons, and Lisa realized that their carefully constructed facade was on the verge of collapse. As the evidence against Kyle mounted, Detective Jenkins prepared to make his move. He brought Kyle in for another round of questioning, this time adopting a different approach. He presented all the gathered evidence, including the phone records, witness testimonies, and forensic findings. Overwhelmed and cornered, Kyle began to crumble under the pressure. Jenkins pressed harder, suggesting that a confession might lead to a more lenient sentence. Unable to bear the weight of his guilt and the relentless questioning, Kyle finally broke down and confessed to killing Sarah. He detailed his obsession with her, the confrontations that led to her murder, and the fateful night that sealed her fate. However, in his confession, Kyle also implicated Lisa, revealing her role in covering up the crime. He described how she had helped him clean up the scene, dispose of the evidence, and craft their alibi. The intricate web of deceit they had woven began to unravel, exposing the dark truth hidden beneath their seemingly perfect lives. The once peaceful suburb of Winter Park was forever altered by the revelations of that day. The Thompsons' carefully constructed facade crumbled, revealing a chilling tale of obsession, deceit, and murder. The community was left to grapple with the devastating consequences of the Thompsons' actions, a haunting reminder of the dark secrets that can lurk behind even the most ordinary of lives. Seizing the chance to uncover the entire story, Detective Jenkins arranged for Lisa to be brought in for questioning as well. Initially, Lisa denied any involvement, but once confronted with the full extent of Kyle's confession, she realized there was no escape. Her intricately woven lies had unraveled. She admitted to aiding Kyle, explaining that she had acted out of a misguided sense of loyalty and fear of losing everything they had built together. In November 2012, the trial of Kyle and Lisa Thompson commenced in a packed courtroom at the Orange County Courthouse in Orlando, Florida. Kyle Thompson, once a celebrated artist and respected member of the community, faced charges of first-degree murder. His wife, Lisa, was charged with being an accessory to murder and obstruction of justice. Both pleaded guilty to their respective charges. Due to his full confession, which also implicated Lisa, Kyle avoided the death penalty and was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Lisa received a lighter sentence of 15 to 25 years in prison, with the possibility of parole after serving 10 years. In the wake of the trial, the close-knit community of Winter Park struggled to heal from the deep wounds left by the murder. Mike Roberts, left to rebuild his shattered life, found some comfort in the justice served, but continued to mourn the loss of his beloved wife. He deeply regretted the wife-swapping arrangement he had once enthusiastically supported. Determined to start anew, Mike moved away from the area and eventually resettled in Colorado, where he remarried. Kyle and Lisa Thompson began their new lives behind bars, with Kyle incarcerated at the Florida State Prison in Rayford, Florida, and Lisa serving her sentence at the Lowell Correctional Institution north of Ocala. 
In 2022, Lisa became eligible for parole but was denied. She is expected to be released from prison by 2037. The tragic case of Sarah Roberts serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of obsession and the fragility of life and love. The once peaceful suburb of Winter Park was forever changed by the dark secrets and devastating consequences that unfolded within its boundaries. As the community continued to grapple with the aftermath, the echoes of the Thompsons' actions lingered, a haunting testament to the destructive power of deceit and the irreparable harm caused by their choices. The memory of Sarah Roberts lived on, a poignant reminder of the lives forever altered by the tragic events that transpired.